Welcome back today, we're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting, specifically focusing on one of America's favorite collectibles, the wheat penny, these one-cent coins, minted between 1909 and 1958, have captured the hearts of many collectors. But did you know that some of these coins are worth far more than their face value? In this video, we'll explore the top 10 ultra wheat pennies that are making waves in today's market with incredible values in dollars. So, let's get started first up. We're diving into the 1934 wheat penny, one of the more intriguing one cent coins in American history. This is a coin with no mint mark, and we're specifically talking about its value in extra fine condition, as well as its rich history. So, how much is this classic piece of American currency worth today? Before we get to its current market value, let's start with some background on this coin. The 1934 Wheat Penny is part of the Lincoln Cent series, first introduced in 1909. The obverse features the iconic profile of President Abraham Lincoln, designed by Victor David Brenner, while the reverse shows two wheat ears, hence the name Wheat Penny. So, what exactly is extra fine condition? Well, coins are graded on a scale based on their wear and tear, and extra fine falls right in the middle. Coins in extra fine condition show only slight wear on the highest points, like Lincoln's cheekbones or the wheat ears on the reverse. The rest of the details remain sharp, with clear lines and very little smoothing or fading. Now that we know what qualifies as an extra fine grade, let's talk about the current market value. The 1934 wheat penny is not considered a rare coin, but its value can vary based on its condition. In extra fine condition, collectors are willing to pay a premium. As of 2024, the value for a 1934 wheat penny without a mint mark in extra fine condition generally ranges between $400,000. Now, if you happen to find this coin in lower grades, such as good, or very good its value would drop to less than a dollar usually around $100,000 on the other hand, if your 1934 penny is in mint state condition, meaning it's almost untouched and shines as it did the day it was struck, it could be worth as much as $700,000 or even more depending on the collector. Of course, the value of any coin depends on a few key factors, like demand, market trends, and even the overall condition of the coin. If you're looking to sell your 1934 wheat penny, you might get a higher price from collectors who are specifically interested in completing their Lincoln Cent series. On platforms like eBay or at local coin shops, you'll typically see offers within the $150,000 range for extra fine examples. But don't forget rarity isn't the only reason collectors seek out coins like the 1934 Wheat Penny. This particular year represents the perseverance of the American economy during the Great Depression. And for many collectors, it's not just about the monetary value, it's about owning a piece of history. So there you have it, today's market value of a 1934 wheat penny without a mint mark in extra fine condition ranges between $270,000, not a fortune, but certainly more than its original one cent value. If you have one of these coins in your collection, take a close look, you might be holding onto a small but significant piece of American history. Next up, the 1936 wheat penny without a mint mark. At first glance, it may seem like just another old penny, but in fine condition, this little copper coin could be worth a lot more than just one cent. We're talking about hundreds or even thousands of dollars in today's market. Let's break down why this particular coin is so valuable and what makes it stand out from the rest. Before we jump into its value, let's start with a bit of history. The 1936 Wheat Penny is part of the Lincoln Cent series, which was introduced in 1909 to celebrate the centennial of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Designed by sculptor Victor David Brenner, the wheat scent features the iconic bust of Lincoln on the obverse and two wheat stalks on the reverse symbolizing prosperity and growth. The wheat penny design remained in circulation until 1958, when it was replaced by the Lincoln Memorial reverse. Now, the 1936 penny is particularly interesting because it was minted during a turbulent time in American history, right in the middle of the Great Depression. Despite the economic hardships the U.S., Mint produced millions of pennies that year. So, what makes this particular coin without a mint mark stand out? Let's clarify what we mean by no mint mark in the world of coin collecting. The mint mark is a small letter that indicates where the coin was produced. For example, a D would mean it was minted in Denver 
and an S means San Francisco. However, when you see no mint mark on a penny from this era, it means it was minted at the Philadelphia Mint. Back in the day, coins from Philadelphia typically didn't carry a mint mark, which actually makes it the standard for pennies like the 1936 wheat penny. So, while it wasn't unusual for Philadelphia pennies to lack a mint mark, what is unusual is the condition in which some of these coins have survived. Fine condition pennies from 1936 without a mint mark have become highly sought after by collectors due to their historical value and relative scarcity in this quality. But what exactly do we mean by fine condition? In coin grading terms, fine means that the coin has moderate wear but still retains key details, especially in areas like Lincoln's face and the wheat stalks on the back. The important thing here is that while the coin may show some wear, it's not heavily damaged or corroded. The lines on Lincoln's face are still visible and the wheat stalks on the reverse side have a good amount of detail. Finding a 1936 wheat penny in fine condition or better is actually pretty rare these days especially because so many of these coins were used heavily during the Great Depression. Most of the pennies from this era show significant wear and tear, which makes the well-preserved ones stand out even more. Alright, let's get to the part you've all been waiting for why is this coin valuable in today's market. The value of a 1936 wheat penny without a mint mark can vary greatly depending on its condition, but even in fine condition, it can fetch impressive prices. As of 2024, a 1936 wheat penny in fine condition can be valued anywhere from $400,000 however, if you have one in very fine, extremely fine, or uncirculated condition, you're looking at $600,000 or even higher in auctions or private sales. For example, an uncirculated 1936 penny can sell for over $800,000 depending on the buyer and the market demand. The reason these coins hold such value comes down to a combination of factors the age of the coin, its historical significance, the condition it's in, and the overall demand in the numismatic community. As collectors seek out high-quality examples from this era, the price naturally goes up. So, how can you tell if your 1936 wheat penny without a mint mark is valuable? Here are a few things to look for. Condition as we mentioned, the better the condition, the higher the value. Check for visible wear on Lincoln's face and the wheat stalks no mint mark double check that there's no mint mark under the date. If there's a D or S, then it's not from the Philadelphia mint strike quality a sharp, well-struck coin will be worth more than one that's poorly struck or off-center rarity if you have one in fine condition or better, it might be worth getting it professionally graded to ensure its value. So there you have it, the 1936 wheat penny without a mint mark may be just a penny in your pocket, but it could also be a hidden treasure worth far more. If you're lucky enough to have one of these coins in fine or better condition, it might be time to get it appraised and see how much you can get for it in today's market. Next up, the 1949 wheat penny without a mint mark. If you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about what makes this penny so special, stay tuned as we explore its characteristics rarity, and current market value. First, let's take a step back in time. The wheat penny, officially known as the Lincoln Wheat Cent, was minted from 1909 to 1958. It features a portrait of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and two stalks of wheat on the reverse, symbolizing the nation's agricultural heritage. The design was created by sculptor Victor David Brenner and has become iconic in American numismatics. In 1949, the U.S., Mint produced millions of these coins, but today we're focusing on those without a mint mark, which means they were minted in Philadelphia. So, what makes the 1949 wheat penny special? For starters, it's composed of 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc, which gives it a rich reddish-brown color. When looking at this coin, you'll want to examine its features closely. The obverse showcases Lincoln's profile, while the reverse proudly displays the wheat stalks. The 1949 wheat penny also comes in various conditions, which can significantly impact its value. The grading scale ranges from poor to mint state coins in better condition, especially those that exhibit a full, original luster, will fetch a higher price on the market. Now, let's talk about rarity. While millions of 1949 wheat pennies were produced, not all are created equal. The condition of the coin plays a vital role in its rarity and value. 
a penny in uncirculated condition can be quite rare. But what about color shade? The original reddish-brown hue can change over time due to oxidation, wear, and environmental factors. Coins that maintain their original color are generally more valuable. Let's get to the juicy part, the value. As of today, the market value of a 1949 wheat penny without a mint mark varies based on its condition. A coin in average circulated condition may be worth $300,000, however. Pristine examples can reach prices of $1 million or more at auction. It's essential to keep an eye on current trends in the coin market, as prices can fluctuate based on collector demand and economic conditions. Websites like eBay and Heritage Auctions can provide insight into current market values. If you own a 1949 wheat penny or are thinking of starting your collection, proper care is essential. Always handle coins by their edges to avoid fingerprints and oils from your skin. Store them in acid-free holders or capsules to prevent further damage. Never clean your coins, as this can drastically reduce their value. Instead, let their natural beauty shine through. To wrap up, the 1949 wheat penny without a mint mark is a fascinating piece of American history with significant collectible value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, this coin is a fantastic addition to any collection. Next up, the 1956 D wheat penny. Specifically, we'll focus on the rare red color shade condition and its significant value in today's market. So if you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about collectibles, stick around. The Wheat Penny, officially known as the Lincoln Penny, was produced by the United States Mint from 1909 to 1958. This iconic coin features President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and a pair of wheat stalks on the reverse. 1956 edition was minted in three locations Philadelphia, Denver and San Francisco, with the Denver Mint producing the 1956 D variety. Let's talk about the 1956 D Wheat Penny itself. This coin is made of 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc, with a diameter of 19 mm. The D-mint mark indicates that it was minted in Denver. While many of these coins were produced, the ones in red color shade condition are particularly sought after. Coins are graded based on their condition, which can range from poor to uncirculated. The red color shade indicates that the coin is in excellent condition, retaining much of its original luster. Collectors categorize coins into several groups red, red-brown, and brown. A coin in a red shade is the most desirable and valuable among collectors. So, what's the value of a 1956 D wheat penny in red color shade condition? As of today, prices can vary significantly based on the coin's condition and rarity. In uncirculated grade, these coins can fetch anywhere from $250,000 or more at auctions, while those with exceptional features and eye appeal may even exceed these figures. At coin shows or online marketplaces, we've seen some transactions reach over $100 for the finest examples. The rarity and demand for well-preserved coins drive their value up, making this a lucrative area for both collectors and investors. If you're considering buying or selling a 1956 D wheat penny, there are several platforms to explore. Websites like eBay, Heritage Auctions, and specialized numismatic shops can provide opportunities to acquire these coins or to sell them at fair market value. So, there you have it. The 1956 D wheat penny in red color shade condition is not only a piece of history, but also a valuable collectible. Whether you're looking to start your coin collection or add to it, keep an eye out for this rare gem. Next up, the 1946 wheat penny without a mint mark. This little piece of history has a big story to tell, especially when it comes to its value in today's market. First, let's take a closer look at this iconic coin. The 1946 wheat penny features the beloved design of the Lincoln scent created by the talented engraver Victor David Brenner. On the obverse, we see President Abraham Lincoln, and on the reverse, the famous wheat stalks that give this penny its name. Now, you might be wondering why this particular coin is considered rare and valuable. To understand its significance, we need to go back to 1946. This was a post-war year when the United States was transitioning from wartime to peacetime production. As a result, the minting of coins was ramping up again, but many collectors were still focused on older coins from the pre-war era. Condition plays a critical role in the value of coins. 
1946 wheat penny without a mint mark is particularly valuable in extra fine condition. An extra fine coin shows signs of wear but retains sharp details and minimal surface marks. When it comes to grading, an extra fine coin should exhibit some light wear on the highest points of the design but still appear crisp and clear, showcasing the craftsmanship of the era. As of March 2024, a 1946 wheat penny without a mint mark in extra fine condition can be worth anywhere from $280,000. However, in higher grades, such as about uncirculated, the value can jump to around $400,000 or more. But that's not all coins in mint condition can command even higher prices, making this penny a sought-after item for collectors. To wrap things up, the 1946 wheat penny without a mint mark is more than just a piece of currency, it's a valuable collectible that holds a special place in the hearts of many numismatists. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep your eyes peeled for this little treasure. Next up, the 1945 wheat penny without a mint mark. If you think your pocket change is just that change you might want to think again. This little coin has quite the story and it might just be worth more than you think. So, Let's explore why the 1945 wheat penny is a rare find and what it could mean for your collection or investment portfolio. First, let's talk about the history of the wheat penny. The Lincoln penny, which features the iconic image of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and two wheat stalks on the reverse, was minted from 1909 until 1958. The design was created by Victor David Brenner and has become a staple in American numismatics. Wheat pennies are known for their distinctive look, but the 1945 version is particularly interesting due to its historical context. Just after World War II, America was experiencing significant changes, and this penny reflects that transitional period. Now, let's get into the specifics of the 1945 wheat penny. It's important to note that this coin was minted in three different locations Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. The Philadelphia version, however, was produced without a mint mark. This is the coin we're focusing on today. In very good condition, the 1945 wheat penny without a mint mark can be surprisingly rare. Coins in this condition show minimal wear, with clear details on both sides, and are considered collectible. So, what does very good condition actually mean? Coin grading can be somewhat subjective, but generally, a coin in very good condition will show signs of wear but still retain its essential features. The Lincoln portrait should be visible, and the wheat stalks on the reverse should be easily distinguishable. When assessing the value of your 1945 wheat penny, it's crucial to consider its condition. Collectors and dealers will look for certain traits, including the sharpness of the features, the luster, and any signs of damage for the value. As of 2021, a 1945 wheat penny without a mint mark in very good condition can fetch between $90,000 at retail. However, coins in higher grades can command significantly more, up to $180,000 or even higher, depending on market demand and collector interest. Factors that can influence the value include rarity, condition, and demand among collectors. It's always a good idea to check recent auction results and price guides for the most accurate valuation. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, the 1945 wheat penny without a mint mark is a fascinating piece of history that deserves a place in your collection. It's a great reminder that even the smallest coins can hold significant value. Next up, the 1941 D wheat penny. This seemingly ordinary one cent coin holds extraordinary value in today's market. So stick around as we explore its history significance, and why you might want to check your pocket change. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Let's kick things off with a bit of history. The Wheat Penny, officially known as the Lincoln Penny, was first introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. The design features Lincoln on the obverse and two stalks of wheat on the reverse symbolizing the nation's agricultural roots. The 1941D is particularly interesting because it was minted during a tumultuous time in history the lead up to World War II. As the nation geared up for war, the U.S. Mint had to manage production efficiently. In 1941, 
approximately 1.1 billion Lincoln pennies were produced across various mints, but the Denver Mint, indicated by the D-Mint mark, struck a smaller portion of these coin. Now, let's talk about rarity. While millions of wheat pennies were minted, the condition of each coin significantly affects its value. The 1941D wheat penny, in very fine condition, is particularly sought after by collectors. In very fine condition, the coin will have clear details, though it may show some signs of wear, like slight smoothing of the high points on Lincoln's portrait and the wheat stalks. So what makes this coin so valuable? The 1941D, in very fine condition, can sell for anywhere from $600,000 depending on the market and demand. But that's not all. When in mint state condition, its value skyrockets, reaching upwards of $700,000 or more. The key is to find one that has been well preserved. So, how do you identify a 1941 D wheat penny? First, check the date on the obverse side. If you see 1941 and a D mint mark just below the date, you've got a 1941 D wheat penny. Next, take a close look at the reverse side featuring the wheat stalks. In very fine condition, you should still be able to see distinct lines in the wheat, although they may be slightly worn. Use a magnifying glass to help you assess the details more closely. Now that you know how to identify this coin, where can you find one? Many collectors discover 1941 D wheat pennies in their change, at flea markets, or even through online auctions. Remember to check your piggy banks and drawers where old coins may have been stashed away. In the current market, the value can fluctuate based on demand, rarity, and condition. Websites like eBay or coin collector forums can give you an idea of what collectors are currently willing to pay. It's always wise to compare prices and get multiple opinions before buying or selling. In conclusion, the 1941 D wheat penny is more than just a piece of currency, it's a slice of American history that could be worth more than you think. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for these coins as they could be hiding in plain sight. Next up, the 1950 wheat penny without a mint mark. Join us as we explore its unique characteristics, market value, and why it's a sought-after piece in the numismatic community. First, let's quickly recap what a wheat penny is. Minted between 1909 and 1958, the wheat penny features two stalks of wheat on the reverse side symbolizing abundance and prosperity. The obverse displays the iconic profile of President Abraham Lincoln, making it one of the most beloved coins in American history. Now, turning our attention to the 1950 wheat penny without a mint mark. Unlike its counterparts, which may have a D for Denver or an S for San Francisco, this particular coin was minted in Philadelphia, where no mint mark was added. The absence of a mint mark can make this coin a rare find, especially in higher grades. Discussing rare coins, condition is paramount. The 1950 wheat penny in red color shade condition is particularly desirable among collectors. A coin is classified as red when it retains its original luster and has minimal signs of wear. These coins are usually well-preserved, making them an excellent addition to any collection. So what's the market value of this elusive coin? As of today, the 1950 wheat penny without a mint mark in red color shade condition can fetch impressive prices. In uncirculated grades, these coins have been known to sell for upwards of $1.00000000 or more at auctions. Even in lower grades, collectors are willing to pay a premium, often ranging from 3 000 depending on the coin's specific condition. But what makes the 1950 wheat penny without a mint mark so rare? Several factors come into play first, fewer coins were produced that year without a mint mark. Additionally, many coins from this era were circulated heavily, meaning that surviving examples in pristine condition are limited. As collectors seek to complete their collections, the demand for high-quality specimens drives up the price. For those looking to add this coin to their collection or sell it, here are a few tips always store your coins in a cool, dry place. Use acid-free holders to prevent tarnishing and scratches. If you believe you have a high-value coin, consider having it graded by a professional service to enhance its marketability. In conclusion, 
The 1950 Wheat Penny without a mint mark in red color shade condition is a remarkable piece of American history. Its rarity, combined with its captivating design, makes it a treasure for collectors. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or just starting your journey, this coin is worth keeping an eye out for. Next up, the 1958 D Wheat Penny. Not just any penny, but one that has captured the hearts of collectors and investors alike due to its rarity and value. The 1958 D Wheat Penny is a one cent coin produced by the United States Mint. It features the iconic wheat ears design on the reverse side, which was created by the engraver Victor David Brenner. This design was used from 1909 until 1958, marking the end of an era. What makes the 1958 D so intriguing? For one, it was minted in Denver, which is why we see the D mint mark on the coin. This mint mark signifies that it was produced at the Denver Mint, which is known for its lower mintage compared to its Philadelphia counterpart. When we talk about coin condition, we use a grading scale from poor to mint state. The term extra fine refers to coins that show minimal wear and retain most of their original details. For the 1958 D Wheat Penny, being in extra fine condition means that the coin has been well preserved with clear details on the wheat stalks and the portrait of Abraham Lincoln. Coin in extra fine condition can command a much higher price on the market. Collectors are willing to pay a premium for coins that have been preserved so well as they can be more visually appealing and maintain their historical significance. As of today, the market for the 1958 D Wheat Penny in extra fine condition can range significantly. While some might see it listed for around $600,000 in lower grades, in extra fine condition, its value can soar to between $900,000 or even higher, depending on market demand and the specific features of the coin. Collectors are always on the lookout for coins that are not only in good condition, but also have historical significance. The 1958D is a great example because it represents the final year of the wheat penny design. It's a nice addition to any collection. If you're considering adding a 1958D wheat penny to your collection, here are a few tips. Always inspect the coin carefully for signs of wear, scratches, or damage. The clearer the details, the better the grade and value buy from reputable dealers or well-established coin shops to ensure you're getting an authentic coin in the condition advertised. In conclusion, the 1958 D Wheat Penny in extra fine condition is not just a piece of currency, it's a piece of history with significant value in today's market. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, this coin is worth considering. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about rare coins and their values, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We'd love to hear about your experiences with wheat pennies or any other rare coins in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on.